Hello legends, it's your boy Link, and today, for the first time ever, I'm going to be playing football wearing grip socks. Hello legends, it's your boy Link, and today, I got some grip socks from JW94. Um, there's the social media, if you want to go look it up. But I've never ever played football in grip socks, so it's just my casual Monday night football. And I thought I'd try Crip Socks for the first ever time because my mate Chris, Mr. Naylor, keeps saying that I should get some because he thinks they're really good. So he's got me some to, to try and to let you know what they like. So on the bottom, they have these like rubbery, sticky patches that stop your foot sliding around in your boot. Um, let's put one on and compare it to the one without one on. So I've got them on now. And. Like, my, like, boots are definitely not slipping as much. I say boots are Astros, but they're not slipping as much. So there's, there's Mr. Naylor himself. So he's got the same ones in a lovely blue. And you said they did other colours, right? Yeah. White and green are up to red as well. And then what you've done, so for the for the people that actually play properly, Chris has cut his blue sock and he just slides it over the top so you can still... It's the foot of the sock that's off. So you can just cover it over so you don't look like you're wearing two strips. Okay, look guys, so Chris is so so into the video that he's, he's tucked his <laughs> socks in these grip socks because he wants you to be able to see them. That's commitment. And, Jaden's here as well. We're not drinking prime today, are we, mate? No, we're not. <laughs> but he's got new boots, and I'm a bit jealous. I'm not gonna lie. So we can't play yet because there's other people playing. So this is my first touch. They feel good. I've been given a captain's armband to wear. Feels special. We're out on the grass now. Wide angle lens. Crossbar? No. The problem with being as dense as me is that Captain's armbands are always a bit, bit top. Chris, straighten out for us. Get us a, look, I think it's just. Whip it off again. Oh, it's got too much bicep. Chris is gonna. I'm used to putting these on. He's used to it. He's yeah, full time, full time born leader. Go on, whack it through there. Look at this. See, look, it's just I've got two big arms, man. I'm too strong. So beef, that, beefcake. So that beef, beefcake 3000, isn't it, mate? Brutus beefcake. Yeah. You now you can see the captain on there, look. See, cap yeah, you go, captain. So I'm home now, and um, I got injured, so we'll, we'll talk about that. So basically, um, I was playing really well. I liked the grip of the grip socks. Um, I'll tell you what I really noticed it was turning. Like, especially like, you know when you get a pass into you and you want to go that way? And you take that touch and then turn. I really, really, really noticed better grip and like stability when like spinning. I also noticed like just more consistency. I felt. I think because like you've got a stable base in your boots, there's like a consistency with the boots, and they're not like chopping and changing and getting better or worse or whatever. Um, but this is basically the situation that I got injured in. Um, I'm running down the wing, and um, defenders there, and there's only one defender, and I've got a couple of forwards to my left, and I'm sort of like I just wanted them to go in front of me a little bit, and they didn't, so I couldn't find them because they were like ninety degrees. I needed that angle. I needed that angle to play the ball into so they were like yeah I just couldn't find them so I kicked the ball into the defender to get a throw in and then to go take a quick one over the defender's head to my basically open attackers but when I ran off the pitch like turn and trying to grab the ball my ankle just went I just completely went and like I sprained my ankle a bunch of times like um, there's a vlog where I sprain my ankle and like I go to hospital and the doctors think it's broken because of the swelling and stuff. Like it's a, it's a recurring injury that I have, 
But I honestly do think it's the least bad it's been. And I think that's from like the compression element of the grip socks. I think that's definitely like help with the swelling. Like I've not had any painkillers yet. I've also not took my um, like AstroTurf stuff yet though. So I'm sure as soon as I start taking everything off, it's going to get worse. But I do actually think in terms of the injury, it helped, which is such a weird coincidence that it's the week I film that I hurt. But yeah, it really hurts. Um, so yeah, I've still got them on, but I'm just going to take them off and see what it looks like, basically, because I'm definitely hurt. I don't even want to untie that lace. This is not good. I did nearly stop playing, and I think normally I would have had to have stopped playing. bad <sighs> that's the boot off <laughs> see my predators <sighs> so normally my ankle is purple when I take it off when I do that sort of slip really hurts although normally like last time I sprained my ankle I had to get my girlfriend to help me up the stairs and I did get up the stairs on my own okay so it's swollen and a tiny bit bruised See, it's like, you see it's swollen, and up here, that's painful. I don't think you can see it in the first video, but there's also like, <laughs> swelling there. You see I want to take my finger away? How inflamed it is. Here is my ankle that it's fallen. As you can see, the left one's much bigger than the right. Normally it's worse than that though. Normally there's a lot more sort of purple bruising, so the grip socks definitely helped in that regard. But yeah, I genuinely think they have saved me from getting injured there, which is mad. But also I was playing really well with them before I got injured. After that, I couldn't finish anything. I'll be honest with you, it was awful. Um, but yeah, I just, it hurts. Look, I've done that so many times and it's, like I say, it's not a reflection on the product. If anything, it's a good thing for the product because, like I say, last time I slipped in the exact same way on a 4G pitch as well, the exact same sort of surface, um, I had to get Amy to help me up the stairs because I just couldn't even do the stairs last time I got twisted my ankle like that. Um, and that was even after taking painkillers. So, I definitely feel better with this. And this was probably... Like this was like at sprint. It was like the first steps of a sprint, but it was like a sprint, do you know what I mean? Whereas the other one was like a jog, like a twist in a jog. So yeah, um, I'm definitely impressed with how they held up for my injury at least. I'm curious to play some more football in them and, um, and see, but I definitely think they're an improvement over normal socks. Like Chris was saying that I should um, try them, obviously, like I say, he'd been, he'd been nagging me for ages to to try them and um yeah i never did but he's like yeah all right, here's a pair put them on and let's let's know what you think and i think they're really good i score everything out of town on the channel also like i expected the rubber to like come away also i only worn them once and it was only for an hour so it'd be interesting to see how they wear and how they wash but like i say chris wears his every week he's been he's been wearing those for a few weeks and they've held up really well. But yeah, I like them. I also like the the Brandon, like the JW94. Um, it's a bit different.
But there's obviously loads of different brands of grip socks available. So I've never tried grip socks before this, so I can't compare these to another brand. If there's anyone else out there making grip socks that wants me to try them, let me know, because I'd be curious. But I like them. I also like the the different colour bottom as well. But I like the way they've got compression. Like, they mid-foot, there's like a band. I don't know if you can even see that on camera. You see that band where they've got the texture in? Like, for like compression in the mid-foot. And then the whole, like, ankle is that same kind of, like, compressed tight mesh. So I'm going to actually give them a 9 out of 10. I think they are really noticeable for like how you play. I think anyone that likes to turn, like especially forwards, I think especially if you're a forward, if you like to if you like to receive the ball and turn, and maybe midfielders and wingers, like I think if you just if you like to turn, but even defenders I think might benefit to be fair because if you're a centre half, you don't want to be spinning and rolling your ankle. But yeah, I definitely think like for changing direction, you do notice just a li it's a little bit simpler to change direction and a little bit sharper. So I'll be honest with you, I actually can't recommend them enough. I'm um, not like say the particular ones I reviewed, are JW94. Um, it's official JW94 on all your social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook's what's on the thing, and it says the performance sock that will grip you. And to be fair, I'm impressed. I'm well happy with them and I'll definitely wear them next time I play football. So let me know what you guys think of Grip Socks. If you've got any other brands you suggest, I'd be interested to try some other ones. But um, I'm happy with these. I am really happy with these. So there you go. If you want to see me review more football stuff in the future, do let me know. Um, I couldn't film that much, like I say, because where we play, um, Ipswich, some of like the Ipswich like girls' youth teams play before us. So we don't get the time to mess about we used to play somewhere else and we had like half hour before we could mess around and um uh, there was a vlog i did on halloween where i went and played we can't do as much of that as we used to, unfortunately um but me and chris have like me and chris do want to do like a football challenge video together um maybe with like Jaden as referee or something so if you can't with ideas let me know if you've got ideas for like football challenges do you want to see us do crossbar challenge do you want to see us maybe do like, you know, Soccer M has like the, you know, the drill thing. Do you want to do like a shooting drill against each other or something? I don't know. Try and come up with ideas because me and Chris are eager to compete with each other as always. Thank you, legends, for watching. As always, I've been Link. You've been my legends. Hit the thumbs up because if you're still watching, you've obviously enjoyed yourself. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all my football videos that are coming up real soon. And um, I have an interesting season ticket, so I go there all the time. And, you know, I'm a Liverpool fan, as you can see from the Funko Pops in the background. If you're lucky, there might be an Anfield vlog soon. There might be. There might be. So, subscribe if you want to see that. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel means you'll never ever miss what is coming up real soon.